Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for Minte Papers. I am on the design team, and I have got some gorgeous new goodies to play with. I have the School Days collection, and guys, this may be my favorite collection, at least in a while, that Minte has come out with. I love this artwork. There are these nice saturated colors, and the artwork is fun and engaging. There's chalkboards and pencils and palettes and florals. This aqua, which I'm going to use both sides of this paper because it is so amazing, is my very favorite color. We have got this nice red, more scenes. We've got just the chalkboard paper. So there are gorgeous, gorgeous things. So I'm gonna use that. I'm also gonna use these chippies. This is, where's the collection name? Oh, there it is. It is called School. So I think I'm going to do like school days for my title and I'll probably pop in a couple of other things. And you know what? I've never used Distress Oxides with these. So I think I'm going to try that with these this time. Anyway, so I have that going on. The photo I'm going to use is this one right here. This is my youngest daughter. And this was, um, Gosh, one of her first days of college, I believe. And she looked super cute. She was going off to school. I'm like, all right, that's adorable. So I thought I would use that. And let me tell you what my, what my plan is to start. I'm going to use this as one of my mats. So this is paper number four. Paper number one, I'm going to have for another mat. And then a then for my background, I'm going to use, so that's paper number one and then paper number two. So I just want a thin red strip, right? Then I'm going to go ahead with paper number two. I want to fussy cut out both of these pieces, pop them up on some foam and have them in my corners. And then with some of this leftover gorgeousness, I can mat the photo with all of these papers. So that is my plan to start. I'm going to get busy doing that. I think I want to scuff up some edges as well. Then I'm going to decide which one of these beauties to use and cut them all out. All right, so I have a few things to do. I'm going to get going on that and I'll meet you right back so here. This is going along really well. Look at how gorgeous this artwork is. So I have that piece cut out. I've got the top piece cut out. I went ahead and just matted my photo with some white cardstock. And I also have these pieces fully gutted because we cannot waste any of that gorgeous, beautiful paper. I will pop these pieces up on a little bit of dimension. And then for my chippies, I went ahead and inked them up. It turned out really, really nicely. So I'll be tucking them in. Now what I've done previously, just hanging out watching TV a bit, is I have cut out lots of embellishment from the School Days add-on paper pack, the six by eight. And I also went ahead from the paper pack, the 12 by 12, I cut out all kinds of these gorgeous embellishments. So I'll have lots of things that I can pop up and add as soon as I get these pieces in place. These two papers are from the six by eight paper pad. I went ahead and used a notebook punch to punch that out. And I'm gonna go ahead and have two cute mats around my photo. I love this navy and it'll bring in the navy in her outfit. How cute is that? So I've got everything stuck down except for my chippies and I'm just starting to have some fun with some placements. Love the florals. Well, here's the thing guys. She always had a coffee on standby. I better pop that in. There are so many great elements that are already on here. I think I'm gonna kind of concentrate on just some smaller pieces. Like this piece is the same exact size as the other calculator. And I'll pop it up just to have some fun dimension. I think that would be a good way to go about this. Is this clock on here anywhere? I like that because, ooh, I can put it right there with the apple. Because of course, more apples look at that big one guys do we have a big apple piece that would be so cute anywho I'm gonna go along see what pieces I can find that I can pop up that are part of the original background put all kinds of goodies up oh that piece is right there guys how fun is this it's all of these same pieces Ooh, look at this look at this floral 
is that one that one so i'm going to do a tiny bit of matching have some fun with it it's not the same one but i think i can still pop it up and it would look gorgeous is this one this one oh it is okay so i'm gonna pop that one up there and do that kind of thing with some pop-ups now i'm also going to look at the pieces i cut from the six by eight paper pad and see what works as well I will be back in a jiffy and show you the finished layout. And here is my finished layout. I had so much fun popping up these different, oops, embellishments that were part of both this background piece that I fussy cut out. How fantastic that they kept them the same size. I thought that was great. I do love this little girl right here. She reminds me of my daughter. Look at how cute she is. And then look at her. How cute is that? So the um, the chippies came out great using some inks. I distressed them a little bit, got the colors right. And that is that, guys. This collection is super cute for school. You can use it for any age. It is fab. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.